Travis, when it comes to getting this car ready, you got Matt involved. He knows what's going on when it gets the, the car fast, but you're the wheel man. What was the difference tonight once you got those four fresh? Well, it wasn't just that we had four fresh tires, but he made a heck of an adjustment on that first pit stop with two tires. And uh, we, we kept it the way it was right there. And, uh, man, I think it was the rock come off the corners. I don't even know what to say. When most people think of auto racing, they think of the big leagues. NASCAR, IndyCar, and F1 are among the heavy hitters in the motorsport community. However, in order to even get there, a driver needs to prove themselves on the grassroots level first. One of those drivers looking to make a name for themselves in the tough world of motorsports is late model racer Travis Braden. I'm Alex Gallagher and welcome to this special 6th edition of After the Flag, where I will be talking about one of my favorite grassroots drivers as a celebration for passing 100 subs here on the channel. A highly educated driver who started his career out with a bang, Braden has slowly been taking on the best of the world of late model racing has to offer and has been winning to boot. Sit back, strap in, and follow those country roads because our story begins in Braden's home, West Virginia. Born in Wheeling, West Virginia, Braden started his racing career at the age of 8. Starting out in mini wedges, quarter midgets, and legends cars, Braden would go on to win his first championship by winning the Wheeling All-American Series Ohio State Championship. In 2013, Braden would move up to the ARCA CRA Super Series, and from the get-go, Braden would absolutely dominate the series. Scoring his first career win at Winchester Speedway, the number 01 team went on to win back-to-back -back championships in 2013 and 2014. In total, Braden has amassed 10 Super Series wins. However, his biggest wins to date are the 2016 Winchester 400 and the 2019 Snowball Derby. In 2016, Braden had teamed up with Team Platinum to run in the series that year. Starting 15th, Braden was battling it out with the leaders all race long. As the dominant cars of the day started dropping out one by one, it opened the doors for Braden, Eddie Van Meter, Dalton Sargent, and Dalton Armstrong to battle for the win. In a dramatic last lap, Braden muscled his way by Van Meter to lead his first and only lap of the day, the checkered flag lap. He would claim his first Winchester 400 win in only his fourth attempt in the event. The 2019 Snowball Derby was a much different story. The race was dominated by Nice Motorsports driver Ty Majeski. However, in a late race pileup, Majeski, Jeff Coquette, and Derek Thorne were all taken out, and it opened the door for Steven Nassi to cruise to the victory. Or so it appeared. During post-race tech, Nassi's car was found to have a titanium violation in the brake system, the first time ever such a penalty has been assessed. It had titanium piston caps all the way around the whole entire car. It's blatant in a rule book, no titanium allowed. And they, they were fastened to an aluminum piston and aluminum caliper. And what that does is it keeps the heat from sinking into the caliper and the piston. With Nassi being DQ'd immediately, the win was awarded to the runner-up with Braden being given the honors hours after the checkered flag. Braden's victory marked the first time since Eric Jones' 2013 victory that the winner of the race hadn't led a single lap. While all of this late model racing was going on, Braden had made the move to run part-time in the Arkham Menard series starting in 2015. Making his series debut at IRP, Braden would start that event 8th. The race was dominated by then Toyota development driver William Byron. However, over the course of the night, Braden would hunt him down, making the pass on lap 180 Braden would put his car on cruise control to claim his first and only ARCA win in his maiden series start. Crew Chief Matt Weber made the call to put four tires on and it's going to pay off tonight for Wheeling West Virginia's Travis Braden. He wins at Lucas Oil Raceway Park. Braden will also score a runner-up finish in his second series race at Kentucky that same year. Braden would run a handful of races before making the jump to full-time in 2018 with RFMS Racing. Braden would log 7 top 5s, 27 top 10s with the best finish of 3rd coming at Berlin in 2018. A little known fact about Braden is that he is one of the most highly educated drivers in all of racing. Similar to the likes of William Byron and Ryan Newman, Braden attended the University of West Virginia. While also serving as Braden's primary sponsor, he would go on to receive a double major in both aerospace and mechanical engineering. At the end of the 2019 season, Braden announced he would be leaving the Arkham Menard series and moving to the Charlotte area in order to pursue opportunities in the Xfinity and Truck series. As a driver who has never really been able to race with a lot of sponsorship money, I hope this video can potentially help Braden find one in order to achieve his racing dream. Through my travels with Speed51, Braden was one of the nicest and most personable drivers I've ever met. 
And I think he was actually like one of the first people to ever give me an interview. So if you're watching this, Travis, thank you kindly for that. If any potential sponsors are looking for a talented wheelman, look no further than West Virginia's finest. And that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching this very special sixth edition of After the Flag. I hope all of my subscribers are staying safe and staying healthy in this very bizarre time to be alive. If you like what you see, please drop a like and share on this video as it really does help me out. And don't be afraid to also subscribe to my channel because if you love NASCAR content, you'll love what I have next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.